Hello, I'm Ash Teeter with Lost Coast Populists Reading Between the Headlines podcast, making sense of local and national news. Awake, not woke. Opinions are not facts. Make up your own mind. But here we are back on the LCP side again, and we are in the opinion article section. Yeah, this is just goes through the steps of how you can submit an opinion article if, if you choose to do so. And I just want to say that you know, we, we value uh, people's opinions here and their, their First Amendment rights. And this is a, a safe safe space, safe haven, you could say, for the First Amendment. So please do um, share an opinion article if you, you feel so inclined. But uh, right now we're going to move on to our international and global segment and start out with a child climate expert, Greta Turnberg. So what does she have to say here? This is the Jimmy Dore show and it's covering this is over in the the Davos at the the World Economic Forum and uh what you think of this. Because it seems to me she has a chance to answer questions people who she's gonna have to convince so we can all get on board for this climate change thing, because you can't do it with only a half the half the population or a quarter of it. You have to get everybody on board. And so she, she's an activist. She would want to reach these people and the people who watch them. It would make sense that she would want to talk to them and bring her message, because that's how you change people, with your message. You'd think so. You'd really think She so. doesn't do that. Let's watch what she does. Greta, how did you get here today? What was your climate footprint in traveling here? Now, that seems like a totally legit question to ask the world's number one climate change activist, what's the best way to travel if you're conscious of climate change? So how did you travel to get here? <laughs> what's your plan? Uh -huh. And she doesn't answer. And she just, let, she giggles like she's 12 years old. And so they watch what- Yes, she does. But yeah, that, um. Let me just some some other stuff here. This is um something on my Twitter that I posted and it's talking about the rough life. So on on one side here, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, get a little better view of what's going on here. We got um this is what Greta posted about her travel. I guess it was around the time when and I think she had just gotten arrested for the um protest at the coal plant or something. But she's you know, traveling on my overcrowded train through Germany, and I'm finally on my way home. It would have been nicer if you had also reported how friendly and competent um, you were looked after by our team in your your seat in car. And this is another picture of her in her seat in car, just you know, a table table loaded with stuff, but you know. Don't don't pay attention to any of that public as far as the, the news is concerned or her you know her little social media stuff. I'm just just me and my ten bags of stuff that I have. I'm just stuck out here in the hallway. It's it's terrible. Let me move on here. So I'm, uh, another little meme here talking about you've stolen my dreams in my childhood. And then poor kid out there mining cobalt or whatever for the electric cars all my faster Greta and here we have this we all remember this face in these words it's all wrong I shouldn't be up here I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean yet you all come to us young people for hope how dare you how you have dare. stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words, and yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. A dramatic performance by this young activist, who the real I would assume jerk. has taken some influence by her mother and grandfather, who have spent lifelong careers in acting, movies, directing, and performing arts. That makes well, a lot of sense. This young climate activist has taken the spotlight yet again 
Here's what the headlines are saying. An activist Greta Thunberg has been detained by police while protesting the demolition of a German village. Demonstrations have been taking place in the village of Lutzerath since Germany decided to Shaft destroy the town to expand Crowd the nearby coal a, mine. A sea of police. Ms. Thunberg was detained with other people taking part in protests. Truly a tragedy for a young, not so crisis actor being arrested for protesting coal and mining operations there in Germany. Well, we found some footage that might contradict this little, arrest uh, in some manner or another. A little bit. Not all things are as they seem, and the media, like most things in power, have an agenda. Ha ha ha. You also want those three? Wie sieht's denn aus mit der Badstraße? Yeah, it's just too much. It's too much. But anyways, going to move on to next category, the, the woke world order. Let's see what's going on here. House Democratic leader's daughter is arrested after spray painting all cops or bastards on a monument and assaulting officers during Antifa protests in Boston. Uh, Catherine Clark's daughter was arrested at an Antifa protest on Saturday night. Uh, Jared Riley Dowell was caught allegedly spray painting all cops or bastards. Protesters shouted profanity upon Dowell's arrest while another assaulted a cop. Wow. Well, let's see if there are any pictures or footage or anything here. I think they might have something here. Oh yeah, they got pictures here, yep. No cop city. Don't call it public safety. Free tax USA. Free? Let's break that down. Free federal return for everyone. And I understand that the defendant will be need will need new counsel and will that counsel need time? I do not. Come on, mom. Can't you just pay to get me out of here already? Yeah. Well, moving on, we've got um Yes, artificial egg made from plants, backed by Bill Gates, set to revolutionize cooking, goes for sale at Whole Foods. At Whole Foods. That's, I was seeing something recently, uh, people talking about the, the Walmart eggs being made of plastic. So I wonder if these, um, these Bill Gates ones have a kind of plastic type feel and texture to them as well. Um, a radical artificial egg backed by PayPal billionaire Peter Thiel and Bill Gates it goes on sale in U.S. supermarkets for the first time today. Made from plants, it can replace eggs and everything from cakes to mayonnaise without a chicken ever coming close to those production processes. Artificial eggs. Yowza. Going to move on here. Oh, yes. Is, um, Finland has introduced the world's first transgender national figure skater. Uskaltamaan tehdä jotakin siellä jäällä, niin ja sitten alkaa pikkuhiljaa kisaamaan ja esiintymään näytöksissä ja niin edelleen. Että sanotaan, että yeah, aika kiva ura on ollut, mutta tietysti korona tuli. What else do we got going on? Ring the changes. Walmart CEO tells shoppers there are a lot of changes coming. Weeks after a warning to store closers and... Uh, Price, price rises. Walmart CEO has confirmed there are a lot of changes coming. Um, Doug McMillian said technology has now made it possible to automate the supply chain and help with delivery. 
I wonder if that'll be a robot Walmart deliveries, just like the, the drone Amazon deliveries. Um, wonderful. And they already they already have some other deliveries. I think we had one. And it's just um I don't know, it's kind of just like a, a third party thing where they hire people in their private vehicles to deliver stuff. It seemed seemed kinda of janky. We we're like, who are you pulling up here? Um yeah. Kinda of strange. But um, what else we got? Globalist Bill Gates demands that China must be granted the strong role in world governance. Globalist Bill Gates claimed that China's rise has been a huge win for the world. It must be granted a strong role in world governments in a Monday interview about the future of the world order. Yeah. Let's not take China's lead. Just just act the, the Uyghurs that are pretty much in internment camps about what, what they think about China and their role as a, a world leader in governance. So, this is the Insane in the Ukraine segment, and top NATO official says alliance ready for direct confrontation with Russia. Man, look at that guy's smile. He's just, he's just ready to shit it and get it. He's ah, just all over this war effort. Yep. Happy to go blow stuff up. Yep, yep, yep. Man. Yeah, this is an important signal for Russia that we are prepared if they decide to go after NATO. This is the red line. If there is a red line, then it's when the Russians are crossing our borders. The chair of NATO military committee said. Yeah. But, anyways... Who else is in on this Ukraine madness that's in the air? Oh, yes. Breaking exclusive. Hunter Biden was receiving classified State Department briefings on a regular basis used to promote the Biden family business. Earlier today, we recorded on Cash Patel op-ed and Daily Caller, where he suggested that the recent revelations on Joe Biden's crimes classified information all began on Hunter Biden's laptop. Yep, and they're kind of asking, like, um, where is Hunter Biden? And I think it turns out that he's, like, back over in Ukraine right now, getting some other, other kind of work, I think I heard. Yeah. It's just all craziness. Um, Russia is now locked in a war against the West, Line up to send more tanks and arms to help Ukraine. Yep, just like Biden had said earlier, you know, if we send tanks over there, that's going to be World War III. And now, let's send the tanks over. I mean, what is it with these people? This is a, Now Trump calls for an end to the crazy war with Russia. Well, at least someone's got some common sense. Following the U.S. and Germany's decision to escalate the war against Russia this week, only one global leader has spoken out and called for peace. Yeah. And if you remember when Trump first came into office, everyone was just like, oh yeah, that guy's going to be crazy. He's just get, just imagine we can't have him dealing with foreign policy. He's just going to start up so many wars. It's going to be terrible. But he actually... He wound down the, the Middle East thing that was good, you know, going for a good couple decades. I kind of put a cap on that. And then, then Biden messed it all up with his exit, leaving all the, the military equipment behind. Anyways, what else do we got here? Um, without interruption to the brave Ukrainian fighters and continue delivering economic and humanitarian assistance to the Ukrainian people. We're out of money. So we're going to get money printed out to give to another country so the people here can go more poor and their kids won't have money because you're taking from them. So you're completely bankrupting this country in order to benefit another country that is feeding a war. Yeah, how does that make sense? And there's, there's an article you can look up on the Los Populist site that 
talks about exactly that, how you know Biden is destroying America to pretty much funnel money into Russia, or not Russia, but um, Ukraine, where, and I guess he like, seems like he owes him something, or he, they got something over his head, you know, to keep that money flowing. But now we're going to move on to the the international cult of COVID and see what's new there, huh? Um, Danish newspaper apologizes to humanity for failing to question official COVID narrative. Gee, you think, huh? One of Denmark's most popular newspapers, the Estra Bladet, has issued an apology to readers over its coverage of COVID, specifically apologizing for uncritically passing along everything experts like Dr. Fauci said while downplaying perspectives that challenged the COVID authority, which was like pretty much any other medical professional. But uh, this is uh, Pfizer responding to research claims. And... Yeah, but anyways, we're going to move on to this here. Uh, CDC boss, it's time to kill white people who refuse vaccines. Wow! I mean, that's a pretty crazy picture they got there. But um, Yeah, footage has served to fist of a top uh, center for disease control and prevention official saying that elites should get rid of all the whites in the United States and replace them with immigrants to reduce the number of people who refuse vaccines. Wow. I guess that sounds kind of part and parcel to what, we, what we're seeing these days, though. Let's see if this will play here. Footage has surfaced of a top CDC official saying that the elite should get rid of all the whites in the United States and replace them with immigrants to reduce the number of people who refuse vaccines. Dr. Carol Baker was caught on film describing what she calls a solution during a panel discussion in New York City. The solution. Every study published in the last five years, when you look at vaccine refusers, I'm not talking about, well, hesitants, most of them we can talk into coming to terms, but refusers. We'll just get rid of all the whites in the United States. Notably, Baker wow. was appointed chair of the CDC's advisory. Yeah, that's something else, but that's that's the caliber of people we're dealing with. You know, um, yeah, not to, not afraid to say the quiet part out loud. So here's another one on that. FDA doesn't see increased risk of stroke for seniors who receive the Pfizer Omicron booster. Preliminary CDC data indicated a possible stroke risk following simultaneous administration of Pfizer COVID booster and the flu vaccine. Yep, but moving on, we got um, Toxic by Design. Researcher explains why U.S. Defense Department's COVID vax operation shows intent to harm. As Latoya has, um, Latoya Pova has explained, the DOD managed to classify these vaccines not as medicines or pharmaceuticals, but as COVID countermeasures under the authority of the military, which means they are not required to comply with U.S. law governing the manufacturing quality, testing, and effectiveness, safety, and labeling of medical products. Yet while such laws did not apply to these COVID-19 vaccines, the government advanced and orchestrated public relations say that um, standard testing, monitoring, and approval processes were being strictly observed by the CDC and FDA, even as many thousands of injuries and deaths were steadily being documented and independent medical experts experts and media sounded alarms only to be canceled by legacy media and social media corporations and yeah that was definitely the reality we were living for the last couple of years you said anything against it eh, shut down okay well we have 
one clip to play here from Project Veritas that I found very entertaining. This was the this guy who works for Pfizer, and he talks about how they were like intentionally engaging in gain of function research. Um, he tries to call it something different, and it gets captured, you know, the, the usual Project Veritas way with a undercover video. But this guy's reaction is just priceless. But uh, first off, we're going to um, talk a little bit about, you know, joining and writing, you know, before we talked about the opinion pieces. But what if you actually want to write some more substantial pieces? Then this is where you need to, to come here is just come to the, the join the team sections in the loco writers and this is found in the loco section and you just go down to authors and enjoy to join the team and apply today and you just gotta enter your email information and all that and it's pretty much as simple as that but here we go for this uh, Project Veritas. Click here. You're gonna press play. Hey there. Is this seat taken? You work for Pfizer. My question for you is why does Pfizer want to hide from the public the fact that they're mutating the COVID that viruses? Is this real life? I'm question? literally a yeah. liar. What, I was trying to impress a person on a date What's your by question? lying. This please, is please, absurd. Don't touch me. Well, this is not. By the way, Why don't doing don't this? tell anybody. He was just working at a company to literally yeah. help the, the public. Story. You f***ed up. You really did. Please read the cost. Please read the cost. Please read the cost. Very unsafe. Can you please unlock your door? No, you, no, don't let them leave. Please unlock the door. Get in the way. Don't look at this stuff. Please unlock. Please unlock the door. Please unlock the door. My question for you is, why does Pfizer want to hide from the public the fact that they're mutating the COVID that virus is? Is this real life? What is happening here? Why? What is going on here? This is absurd. Why does Pfizer want to hide from the public that they're mutating the COVID virus? Oh my God. You're on video. You're on video. Mutating what is the COVID going virus. on here? I need to call the police right now. This is not I know this is my restaurant. I don't know what's going on either. This is ridiculous. So you're on video. Uh, we're, 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 I'm a journalist. Bro, first of all, I'm literally a yeah. liar. So he's, he's on video. Whoa. You're saying we're exploring how the virus um, keeps mutating. Yes, One of the things we're exploring right is why don't we mutate the virus? I don't know what's happening. But I really need to talk to you right now. So what uh, is please this? do. Please do call the police. Please do call the police. Please do. You're gonna call the police. He's he's uh, gonna call the police for asking him a question. Please do call the police. Please do. He's uh, on tape here talking about mutating the COVID virus. You, can I talk to you outside about Absolutely this? Absolutely not. You're not even my wife is on this. What is your name? Because you fucked up. You really did. I'm about to see you. This is absurd. Please. You please. have to unlock me as if they're going on a date to record me. You don't even know my position at this. What, I was what trying to impress position? a person on a date What's by lying. 
I was literally trying, okay. I'm not even a scientist by background, you know, what that I came from a consulting firm right. that does business. Uh, this please, is please, absurd. Please don't touch me. This is absurd. Please so, please do call the cops. Please do. Please, Why would you call the cops if you have nothing to hide? <laughs> <laughs> so he's obviously having one of the most outrageous reactions I've ever seen uh, in the history of Project Veritas. He's threatening to call the police. Okay. He grabbed the microphone. The question is, why is he calling the police? What? Can I get a for the No, do not give your No, don't let him do you want to put me in jail for asking you a question? Yes, sir. What is the intention of calling the police? They have, like, no right now. Can, you start Can I talk to you, please, about this video? Okay, so Why would you bring race into this? We have you on tape talking about mutating the COVID virus. No one mutates a COVID virus. Show you the May I show you the video? No, I want to call the police to We have to leave? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I have to leave. No, you cannot just leave. Are, are you, do you want me to leave? I want the police to come here and steal all these people. Because this is can insane. I, can, you, can I ask you about this, this video? Insane. Please. You can tell them about how Please. I was lying to a press Here, just, just, is it true what, what you said? What is this? No. I heard this on a third date with a guy, and like normal men, you lie to impress a date. Mutating yeah. viruses? Do you, do, you, do you not work for Pfizer? This guy. I thought he was a date. Do, sir, do you not work for Pfizer? Do you no, work for Pfizer? What the fuck are you do talking Do you currently about? work for Pfizer, yes what or no? Do you currently work for Pfizer, yes or no? What are you talking about here? Please, I want the cops to be here. So you, you don't work for Pfizer? Can you keep you that? You can't do this. People. People. This is absurd. He doesn't want me to leave, yeah. ma'am. Don't let them leave. I want the cops here now. I want the cops here now. He wants the cops here, but he doesn't want me to leave. So I'm in a little bit of a predicament because she's asking me to leave, but he doesn't want me to leave. So what should we do? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty crazy stuff there. But um, anyways, that is the, the conclusion of our uh, international global section. And we will talk to you next time here, okay? Have a nice night, day, or whatever it may be. Bye-bye.